Hi friends, my name is Miss Maggie and I have a story today called Balancing Act that I'd like to share with you. In this story we have two little mice who use a stick and a rock to learn about balance. And I would like to share with you a balance scale that I have and teach you how it works. So a balance scale looks like this. And what a balance scale is, is it's a tool used for measuring weight. And it is a balanced beam, and it has two buckets that are on both ends. And right now you can see that the buckets are empty. And because the buckets are empty, this scale is balanced. And you can tell that it's balanced because both of the buckets are at the same height, or they have the same amount that are off the ground. But if I were to take an object and put an object into one of these buckets, I want you to notice what happens to our balanced scale. You will notice that when something goes on one side of the balance scale that's heavy, it then pushes this bucket down to the ground and then this bucket comes up and rises up in the air. It's a little bit like a seesaw that maybe you play on when you're at the playground. So if I were then to take one and put it on this side, what do you think might happen? I have one elephant in this side and if I were to put one in here, what do you think might happen to the scale? Let's see. Because I have the same number of weights on both sides, one and one, our scale is balanced. And again, you can see that it is teetering, but they are at the same height. So what if I were to add two over to he two more over to here? So now in this side of my scale, I have three elephants, and on this side I only have one. Can you point to the side that is heavier, heavier, or weighs more? Can you point to that side? It's this side over here, you're right. The number three is bigger than one. This side is heavier, and I know it because it's being pushed down more. And this side is lighter, and it's being pushed up in the air. So if I have three elephants in this side, and I have one elephant in this side, how many do I need to add to this side to make it balanced? What do you think? Let's see. If I were to add one more, does that balance it out yet? Not quite. It's adding a little bit more weight, but it's not balanced yet. Let's try another one. So I'll add two. And there you see that our scale is balanced again. There's three on this side and three on this side. And when the scale is straight across, you know that you have it balanced. Let's take a look at our story today and let's find out how these mice work to get themselves balanced and have a good time. Balancing Act, written and illustrated by Ellen Stoll Walsh. She wrote the words and the pictures. Balancing Act. The mice made a teeter-totter. It was fun to balance. One mouse on each end. Ta-da! And what do you notice about that balance? Is it equal? But then a salamander wanted a turn. Hmm. What do you notice? Luckily, a friend stepped in to help. Perfect. Balance again. Uh-oh, a frog. What do you think's gonna happen? Whoa, it tipped the balance, didn't it? This side is now heavier. But then, another frog. Can you make a prediction? What's going to happen when that frog comes onto the balance? Ah, balance once more. 
one mouse on each side and two frogs on each side. It is a balance. Oh no! A bird wants to balance. Whoops! That's not going to work. If something hard goes down on this balance, look what it did to the other side. Or maybe it will. Ta-da! So looking at this picture, what do we know? We know that all of these animals weigh the same as this bird. And we know that because the balance is straight. It is equal on both sides. But not for long. Too many balancers. It's time for everyone to find something else to do. Except the mice. Ta-da! The end. Balanced once more. And so if you like this idea of the balanced scale and you wanted to make one at home, all you need is a hanger, some string, and a couple of cups. I poked holes in my cups so that way, um, with a hole puncher, that way I could just tie knots and so that way my cups could hang. I put them on both ends so that they're hanging evenly with the same amount of string. And then you can take any kind of objects that you have in your house and you can make some predictions about which you think is heavier. And then you can put them into your cups and you can test and explore your very own balance scale. I hope you have fun at home continuing to find all different ways to play and learn with all of the things that you have around you. I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon. Bye!